Zoe. I am the Tipsy Psychic. Today we're going to discuss the compatibility between a Taurus Gemini cusp and a Pisces Aries cusp. Okay, Pisces Aries cuspers, a Tauremini would be blessed to date you. You are special and they know it. When it comes to what you want in your relationship, you both are in agreement. You both want to be a team, but a lot of the time you are afraid to get your hands dirty. And sometimes if you want to make things work, then you gotta make a little sacrifice here and there. Sometimes you have to risk your heart in order to win love. You can't play it safe. Sometimes the most powerful connections come from a very dark place. Dating a Taurus Gemini can mean jumping into a romantic relationship without a parachute. Your motto might be to be partners, but you do a lot of things behind each other's back. And it's not like you're intentionally trying to go behind each other's back. You're both very independent and calculative. And what you want to happen doesn't always happen because your actions might not align. Pisces Aries, you know how to pave your way. And when you're on a roll, you know how to keep rolling. And so when you're high, you know how to get higher. But there are times when we're down. You are still human, okay? You are still human and you need to be able to use that depth and the darkness within you to relate to the Taurus Gemini cusp. Sometimes it's important to connect over the bad. It's okay to be vulnerable. A uh, Taremini will really like how creative you are and your thoughts when it comes to art. It's something you both share. Your relationship is like a giant game of chess. The only question is, what is your next move? And no matter how much you try to be a team, it's somehow extremely challenging. There's not usually anything really obvious going on that's causing distress and arguments. If I asked you both what you're actually fighting over or what is wrong in any way, there wouldn't really be a direct answer. You both are very powerful. Use that energy to work with each other and not against each other. A Taurus Gemini is very unpredictable. I am a Taurus Gemini. I understand this. And you never really know what's gonna happen next. And that is something that is really exciting to you. You don't usually make any of your fights super public. It's important to talk to each other about what you want and then use your energy to make those things happen and give your love and energy more direction so that you're not just playing games. You're actually growing your relationship. A uh, Tarem and I would really like how you get them. It's easy to put yourself in their shoes. And because you understand each other, it also makes you extremely careful around each other. You know what you're capable of and they know what you're capable of. It's really important to trust your gut. You're very intuitive. And instead of focusing on the past relationships, or their past or facts, you gotta tune into your heart. Make any decisions based on that. Listen to intuition, not logic. You would have a blast with a Taurus Gemini and your competitiveness is not always a bad thing. It can be more like a lighthearted rivalry. You would have a blast with a Taurus Gemini and your competitiveness is not always a bad thing would be like a very lighthearted rivalry. You both need a certain amount of challenge in a relationship and you're able to give that to one another. This couple is usually very playful with one another. But if you do want this to be a successful relationship in the long term, you're going to have to stop playing games. You will have to stop trying to one up each other. It may start out in a really fiery way, but there is a certain level of intimacy that you can't achieve if you're always on the lookout. It's okay to show some love and admiration for each other. When you're around them, you may feel like you're the stable one, which is not something that you're really used to. One of you needs to be able to let their guard down so that the other one can too. The problem is who is going to take that Step. It's good to be vigilant, but you shouldn't constantly have to be wary because all this does is make you more uptight. You both have very strong values and beliefs. 
and you can get very defensive out of the blue. And you're supportive and you're understanding inside. Before you date a Teremini, it's going to be very important for you to explore other options beforehand. You have to have experienced a variety of partners before deciding to be with them. Because if not, you'll never really know if they're the one. If they are your first lover, then they will probably not be your last lover. You have to be able to put your pride aside in order for things to be successful. You both have a lot of self-worth and you certainly have a very strong ego. And there's nothing wrong with self-love and dignity, but you can't let it overpower honesty and communication. And although you are both very caring, you'll have trouble putting it aside. Try being more compassionate, be more affectionate. The Taurus Gemini cusp will often kind of force you to be the rock. And you're not really necessarily a rock. You're not necessarily a routinely person. When it comes to trust, you both are very similar because you believe that trust is earned. Unfortunately, trust is going to be one of the main challenges. And there's not necessarily anything that you both do that causes distrust. It's just the way your relationship works. The interesting thing is that when you both start off, there really isn't any reason not to trust each other. And to a Taurus Gemini especially, they believe that until they have reason not to trust you, they trust you. But you are very wary of each other from the start. So if you want things to work, you need to focus on earning each other's trust. A Taurus Gemini cusp can be very impulsive and spontaneous. They value loyalty more than you do a lot of the time. You're not a simple person, you're complicated. And a Taurus Gemini cusp would really understand you and love all of you, all of your layers. They would be your best friend and your lover at the same time. And remember, just because trust is a challenge doesn't mean it's impossible to earn each other's trust over time. It just may take a while, years even, who knows? You may feel very exhausted after being with them for a while. So make sure you do this slowly. Make sure that you work your way up to spending more time with them because if you just start off spending an insane amount of time together, which is tempting, you'll get burnt out pretty easily. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are on the cusp of Taurus and Gemini, or if you're on the cusp of Pisces and Aries, I would love to hear more from you in the comment section below. Let me know like what you think. Have you dated one another? I would love to hear about your experiences. Um, do you agree with me, disagree with me? Yeah, I wanna know. Subscribe and like my video. That would be really, really helpful. <laughs> Thanks for watching, bye-bye.